Hi everyone, my name is Michelle with Silver Lining Daydreams and in today's video I thought I would bring you along with how we prepare and clean for our Airbnb guests. We have some guests coming in tomorrow so I thought I would just kind of go around the house and um, show you how we clean. When we have guests coming I like to prepare the room earlier in the week so I, um, I finish a room, close that door, move on to the next one and the way that our house is set up we're able to kind of section that out, which is really nice. So um, come along with me and I will show you how I clean and prepare for our Airbnb guests. The next thing that I like to do is to wash off all of the um, tabletops. So I'll be doing these. I only have three of them in here. I'll do those, I'll wash them off, and then I um, dry them off with a Swiffer. All right, here we go. As some of you may know, I am an artist and um, I do photography. And I sell my artwork at various art shows around the area. Um, consequently, I have a lot of um, supply here. I have a lot of uh, tools that I use. There we are. This is where I keep a lot of it. I also have some in here. So those are the loose ones and then I have some mat board and frames and that in here. Because I have so much of it, it's difficult for me to, um, you know, just pack it all away. I keep the one closet closed when the guests come and I just, you know, I show them, I tell them the situation. The other closet over here <laughs> is cleared out. They can hang their things there and that's fine, not a problem. Haven't had any, any issues with any um, guests so far with that. They're all okay with that. And I also, on the back of the door, I have some hooks if they wanna hang extra stuff. So what I'm gonna do in the closets, I'll, I always start there and I do the, the flooring there. And so I'm gonna just walk, go through, wash the floor. I have the walls, the ceiling um, done, and then I'm gonna wash the floor. I did dust down the and wipe down the windows, but um, I, I still have to do the actual window pane. So I'll do that afterwards and let's get started. That closet is done. I know it's a little bit messy now, but we'll just shut the curtains. It's fine. That's what I have for now. This is a cover that I use over my artwork when I go to transport it, and I had an extra one in there, so I'll go put that in the hall where it belongs. Through the years I thought I found you, but nothing would do. Now so I was able to swiffle under the bed, and so now I'm going to finish washing the floor once the floor is washed and um, I wash the window panes, then I'm ready to set the bed and this room should be good. You're making my dreams come true. All right, so under the bed and the floors are all done, I'm going to wash the window panes now and make the bed. mattress pads on our beds for um, for comfort for the guests and also for protection so I'll start with that a 
another thing to note when you're making the bed to make sure that any tags that are out that they are at the bottom of the bed and not up by the head in the pillows. You're making my dreams come true. Another thing that we do, um, if the sheets are a little wrinkly, we do like to iron them for our guests. So I'm gonna go get the iron. So the bottom sheet doesn't have to be quite as perfect because we're gonna keep ironing other things on top of it. So that will go better as the ironing goes on. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, but you can tell a big difference when you iron it. So that's why we like to. Ooh, you're making my dreams come true. If you don't have time to iron all of your sheets, if you want to just iron the pillowcases that show that would be awesome too. I know that the guests really appreciate that too. I also know that some sheets won't wrinkle quite as much as others. Um, we prefer the 100% cotton. We do have some of the microfiber that doesn't wrinkle as much, but um, those are more for a spare if we have to. We also try to have six pillows per bed, um, at least for the queen beds. And um, because you never know how somebody is going to sleep, they might want to have a, a firmer pillow or a, um, a softer pillow or a down pillow. So it, um, when you have six of them, they should be able to choose. <laughs> Another thing to pay attention to if you have several different sets of, you know, white sheets is to make sure that you have the, the same brand um, bottom sheet, top sheet, and the, if possible, all four or six pillowcases. So, um, because then that way the, the whites all match and the feel of the fabric match as well. And, um, you know, it's, it's just those little things like that that make a guest feel cared for. So these pillowcases are a little different. They are the European ones, so they fold in. So I usually have these on the, you know, I put the four out and then I put the two more in front of that and that would be these two, this one and the one over there. And um, it just gives a nice finished look to the bed. So there really is a method to my madness. All right, so I will show you what it looks like to come into this room when our guests come in. So here we are. That's the very, you know, right by the door there. This is the artwork that I have up. Um, and I just, because I have to have somewhere to store it, that's where I store it. So we've got our extra towels over here.